Okay, good morning M4. In today's math, we are going to have, um, we are going to talk about apostrophe contractions. Still, we are in contraction. And as you can remember, contraction are two words and um, we put together using apostrophe. So I am going to explain to you your activity. Okay, let me see. Okay, the first part of your activity you have here, letter D. What you need to do is you're going to put the words on this side you're going to write the contracted form and you have five sets you have might have would have should have must have could have you're going to write the contracted form on the space provided here and uh, if you're going to write that down on your notebook write the two words and the equivalent contracted form in your notebooks okay so that's the first part, very easy. The second part, we have letter E. It says, complete the passage using the contractions in activity D. Therefore, we are going to use the answers we have here on letter D to, I mean, for letter E activity. So the contracted form, okay, the contracted form, okay, not these ones, but the answer here, the contracted forms, you will use that to answer letter E. You have five contractions here, and as you can see, there are also five blanks. One, two, three, four, five. So one, one you, you need to use um, one contract, contraction one time. You, you're, you're not allowed to use them or to use one of them twice, okay? So one contraction per blank, all right? I am going to explain further about the meaning of uh, these models later. Let me just explain the next activity. The next activity we have here, add the apostrophes in the correct places in these sentences. So we have eight sentences here and what you need to do you have to read and understand them and you need to add where you will need to write the apostrophe to make contractions okay first example i've forgotten my dictionary but i'll bring it tomorrow where do you think we need to uh, where do you think we need to write the apostrophe there okay there are eight what they call this there are eight um sentences but i am going to give you points per apostrophe okay so if in one number you need to write more than one apostrophe or two apostrophes or three then i am going to give you points for each apostrophes all right so read and understand the sentence really well okay like what i've said i am going to discuss the meaning of these models so that you will uh, be able to understand or to understand which one to use for this sentence because you're not just going to oh well this this looks okay so i'm going to use this for this sentence this looks okay so i'm going to use this for this sentence you can't you need to understand the function of the words here might would should must and could you need to understand their function so that you know when you read please read and understand the sentence okay when you read and understand the sentence you know which one you need to use for each sentence okay so let me just explain that okay so we will talk about the five models that we are going to use in your activity e you have here might have would have should have must have and could have okay i am gonna write down their function and i will give you an example so that you can um, understand them well first let's talk about might have we use might have when there is a possibility that something might have happened okay again we are referring to the past so might have when there is a possibility i'll give you an example Example is, I might have seen her in the party. So, <laughs> sorry. I might have seen her in the party. So, it's a possibility that I've seen her, but I wasn't really sure. So, I use might have in the sentence. Again, we're talking about the past event. It has, um, it happened already. That's why we use seen and it's in the past tense. And uh, it was a possibility that I have seen her. So, 
we use that. So next we are going to talk about would have. Okay, let's talk about would have now. We use would have in a sentence when we are sure about something or, or when there's certainty. When you're sure of something that would have happened in the past. Again, we are referring in the past. Example sentence. We have a, I would have moved out, but I didn't have the money. So I was so sure, I was certain that I would have moved out of the apartment. But it's just that I didn't have money, so it didn't happen. Okay, so again, past tense, it's uh, something that should have happened in the past. We are sure about it. It's just that it didn't happen because I didn't have money. So that's how we use would have. Something that we're happy to sh um, that we're sure to happen in the past, that we're certain that it's gonna happen in the past, but it just didn't happen. Okay. Next we have should have. We use should have when we show an obligation or something that needs to be done. Again, we're referring to the past event. Okay, something that happened in the past that should be done because there's an obligation in it. All right, I'll give you an example sentence. We have the example, Anna should have called her mom before she left. So the obligation here that, um, uh, in the sentence is that Anna should have called her mom before she left. Again, we're talking about the past, something that should have happened, but didn't, it didn't happen. So we use should have because we show an obligation. Anna should have called her mom before she left. Another example, she should have um, she should have taken extra careful when she rode the horse. So <laughs> an obligation that um, you show obligation or something that needs to be done. Okay, next we're talking uh, we'll talk about must have. We used must have in a sentence, again, past tense uh, to show strongest. We have a strongest because we have a proof or an evidence of something all right i'll give you an example as usual so you understand the meaning okay example sentence here you must have chicken in that bag i can smell it so your strong um guess your strong guess here, here is that that person must have chicken in that bag because you can smell that fried chicken. You have a proof or you have an evidence. So we used must have or we need to use must have on that or on this sentence. The last we have could have and we also use it for possibility. Um, again, when something happened in the past that could have happened. All right, but it's just a possibility. You're not sure. But it could have happened. So we use this model in the sentence. I'll give you an example. The example we have here, she could have left her bag at the restaurant because maybe she's not holding it anymore. So a possibility that could have happened is that she could have left she could have left it at the rest restaurant. Okay? So in this sentence it shows possibility. It shows po possibility of why what could have happened. All right, so there's no certainty, just possibility. We're not sure. All right, so these, let me see. Okay, so these um, five models here are what you need to use to answer letter E. Again, you should not use this one. You should not use this one. You need to use the answers the contracted form okay use the contracted form to answer activity e again um one one contraction per space we have five spaces here so one space one contraction contraction from from letter d please read and understand the sentence properly read what does it mean does it show possibility does it does it show um obligation does it show certainty 
read the sentence and then check which one or which models you need to use okay again all of them shows um events that that happened in the past and you know something should have happened it it just depends or it depends on the meaning if it shows possibility certainty obligation or a strong guess or something again read and understand the sentence properly that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.